Hi friends, I'm in the studio and I thought it'd be fun to show you some new items along with some old favorites to create a little project using watercolors and this Uli Chroma Blends Circular Watercolor Pad. I found a bone folder nearby so I tried to use that to take off the cover which did work but I do recommend if you have a letter opener that would probably work better or a plastic knife or even a butter knife would be ideal. Working on the pad directly means that you don't have to tape your paper down or anything. You can just go right on top of the pad and then once it's dry you can repeat the process and take off the sheets. As you can tell by looking the watercolor set, it's the one from my Stay Sweet collection with American Crafts. It's the travel watercolor set that I have been loving using. And I ended up taking it to an event where some kids got a hold of it. And it's not a problem. I love sharing my supplies with kids. But I had no idea that a three and four year old would be taking the water brush and using it in a way that probably I wouldn't have chosen necessarily. So the tip is a little bit compromised, but not so much so that I can't use the brush. So I do want to show you that you can make these marks with any types of brushes that you have. You don't have to use the watercolor brush or the water brush that comes within the kit, but everything that you see inside of that case comes with that case, except for the messy paint marks. But that's for you to do and enjoy. I'm taking this yellow and squeezing out a little bit of water just to make some marks and play. A lot of my process lately has been encouraging people, encouraging myself to be a little bit more free with my supplies. And as you know, embracing creativity is an act of self-love. However, letting the negative voices in your head tell you that you're not doing enough or achieving enough is definitely not an act of self-love. I used to think that if I wasn't so hard on myself that I wouldn't get enough done. And to be honest, it's been quite the process, but I'm steadily shifting my outlook on that. After a couple of beautiful life-changing retreats last year with the idea that we can in fact do hard things with ease, I wrote it in my journal and I really want to embrace it and remind you that things don't have to be such a struggle. We don't have to suffer along the way. In order to stay positive, calm, and happy in a world filled with stress, bad news, and hard times, it can really help to carve some time out to celebrate the little wins along your journey. Sometimes that means getting out your art supplies like I just did and making something just for the heck of it. I wasn't even going to record this, but the light was so perfect and I decided that, hey, if I don't make that video and publish it, it's not that big of a deal, but at least I have it recorded. Instead of going around in circles with negative self-talk, simply go for it on a fresh new format, like a round watercolor pad. Sometimes, you know, when you get out your art supplies and you're making something just for fun or just for the heck of it, you realize that stress is really optional. If you've ever been like me and you write something down in your journal and you realize that it needs to be up on a wall or shared with others to enjoy and really embrace, then you know what I'm talking about here. So this is the experience that I'm having and I'm so grateful for you all. I hope that this resonates with you. I hope that you feel empowered and inspired to carve out some time to get creative, get crafty, do the things that bring us joy. And I wanna emphasize that we can do it with ease. So I hope this was a fun little video for you to see. Some of you have been loving my Craft A Life You Love podcast, which means so much to me. Every Tuesday, we have a new episode. You can listen and download wherever you listen to podcasts. Thank you so much for being here and liking my videos. I would love to hear from you. What else would you like to see coming up? Because there is a lot of change going on within myself and also this channel, and I can't wait to share more with you. So please let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Thanks for watching.